Hey everybody, the Super Vader 400 here. This is my salute of the video game Mortal Kombat 9 or Mortal Kombat 2011. This is my salute with me praising, this is with me doing a video of me praising the video game Mortal Kombat 9. I'll do a narration, an audio narration review of the game next time. But this is my salute of the video game Mortal Kombat 9. And I must say, man, I would, this was going to be on my main channel, Doug8798, as a rant, as a rant, as a rant. But, um... After playing this game, man, after playing this game, I can't stop. I've played this, I've beat, I've played this game and beat it I don't know how many times. This game is that damn fun. It is one of the best video games, one of the, is one of the best video games and best fighting games I've ever played, man. Um, but like I said, um, I'm going to give my brief history with the game before I get to the, um, praise. Um, when I first heard about the news of this new Mortal Kombat game, I was immediately excited. Then, um, then when I saw the, the awesome trailer, the awesome trailer for the game, I was even more excited. I was, it, I was even a little sad at that I didn't have a 7th generation console, console when this game was released, when this game was released, when this game was released. When I saw, um, when I saw um, the the video reviews, the gameplay, and the story mode, my excitement turned to immediate disappointment, man. And the disappointment of this game kind of turned me off to the seventh generation um, console console for a while. Even though, like I said in my Xbox video I did on my Doug and Seven on Eight channel, I usually get consoles towards the end of their life cycle and the Xbox 360 is supposed to Microsoft said they're going to support the Xbox 360 up until late next year so um so yeah the disappointment of this game I was disappointed by the game's story the story mode was cool the story mode was cool but I was disappointed by the game's storyline I was disappointed by the changes they made to the gameplay the changes they made to the gameplay and of course the lack of changes they made to the gameplay um when developing this game Ed Boon said he was coming up with something he was coming up with some new innovative gameplay for experienced Mortal Kombat fans for experienced Mortal Kombat fans and when you see the game it, it was just the last game Mortal Kombat vs DC on a 2D plane with even more violence with even with even more violence and um with even more violence and pretty much they made it similar to the first three Mortal Kombat games Mortal Kombat 1 2 and uh 3 Mortal Kombat 1 2 and um 1 2 and 3 when they said they promised some new innovative gameplay and that immediately disappointed me because Mortal Kombat was a series, unlike other fighting game series, which when they have an engine, they have this thing, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, they just improve on it. Whereas Mortal Kombat, with each game that ever came out, they always say, this is good, but how can we make this better when the next game comes out? And I felt they had stopped doing that when they got to this game. They kept evolving and evolving and doing what they could all the way up until they got to this game but of course I was a huge I'm a huge Mortal Kombat fan and I love some of the, the things this game did so I so when the when the price dropped when the price dropped I was gonna get the game but speaking of pricing drop speaking of price droppings the price dropping um another thing that disappointed me another thing that disappointed me about this game Another thing that disappointed me about this game was the um another thing that disappointed me about this game was the was the um unneeded amount of DLC was the lame DLC they released um for this game. They had DLC of characters like Kratos, uh Freddy Krueger, Freddy Krueger and um and um and um 
what's the other guy? I keep forgetting the other the other guys the other guy's name with the hockey. I think Jason. Jason, yeah, from the um Nightmare Nightmare series. Um yeah, I was immediately um disappointed with the pointless and they were just pointless DLC. They they technically fit in with the Mortal Kombat game, but they had nothing to do with the Mortal Kombat game. And I was disappointed they had DLC of that, but not DLC of, let's say, other costumes. Like, I was disappointed that since, well, the Mortal Kombat 3 storyline was featured in this game, an alternate version of the Mortal Kombat 3 storyline was featured in this game, Sub-Zero, Sub-Zero didn't have his um alternate look. Sub Zero didn't have his alternate um didn't have his unmasked look the 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 look um he debuted in Mortal Kombat three so I was disappointed that other DLC like that wasn't in the game but like I said I was still gonna get the game because I was a huge Mortal Kombat fan I love some of the stuff they did I love some of the stuff they did when the um price dropped well um well. My birthday was September 13th. Since I got so much money, more money than I expected, I got this. I got this and Naruto, one of the Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storms, which I'm going to talk about next time. Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storms. I bought both of these at my local GameStop. At my local GameStop. And, um, and when I played this game, I was totally blown away pretty much every criticism I, I had i still have a couple of criticisms mostly dealing with the story mode mostly dealing with the story mode mostly dealing with the actual backstory not the video game itself um um all my criticisms were addressed and this game is just like this is one of the best fighting games of all time and speaking of um best fighting games of all time yeah the fanboys overrating overrating this game overrating this game and crapping on DC Mortal Kombat versus DC which I love both of these but if you if you told me to choose Mortal Kombat versus DC I like that game a lot more than I like this one than I like this one but um I love both ga I love um both um games but people crappy on Mortal Kombat versus DC cuz it wasn't the gore fest this game was also kind of turned me against this game but like I said man this game was good I'm going to start off with the um, improvements they made over Mortal Kombat vs. DC. The graphics are much better in this game. The graphics are much better um, in this game. Mortal Kombat vs. DC has some awesome graphics, but that was like one of the first... That was like one of their very first game... One of the, Not only the first Mortal Kombat game on the 7th generation console, but that was... Um, one of the one of Midway's or now Nether Round Studios Nether Round Studios first games on the um on this seventh generation consoles and um, you can tell by the game they hadn't totally mastered um H D they hadn't totally mastered um seventh generation graphics and technology because parts of M MK versus D C looks like a PS two PS two sixth generation console game. So um so um that was improved here. This game, the visuals are the visuals are just awesome. The visuals are just awesome. Are all, it's just awesome. I also love um the game some of the gameplay mechanics. Why I don't like how they restricted it to a 2D plane. I understand they did this for um gamers who missed the old Mortal Kombat's. And um I like what they did with the combos. They added more combos and they add the combo and fight system. In Morka vs. DC, the fight system is awesome, but the combos and stuff are like stiff. Even though this could be because I have an Xbox 360 controller, and Xbox 360 is probably more made for shoot. This is also a problem I had with the N64. Both of these controllers were probably more made for shooters and platformers and platformers than, um, let's say, let's say, um, a fighters fight fighting games. Let's say a fighter. Let's say a fighter, which I buy a lot of. I buy a lot of fighting and uh, action, action games. So that could be why the controls were stiff, stiff, stiff. But Mortal Kombat vs. Mortal Kombat 2011 fixed that. It's the controls are more free and fluid. It's you, you feel fun. It feels go good when doing it. And then they have so many awesome, so many awesome um combos, so many awesome combos and um. 
one brand new combo feature I like is um when you get your meter up, when you get your spirit meter up at the bottom, when you get your um power meter up, not spirit meter, but power meter up at the bottom, at, at the bottom of the screen, at the bottom of the screen, you get to perform a very cool X-ray type move where the where the character will perform a finishing move that consists of a three a three combo move, a three combo move where you see the guy striking the guy, striking or um choking or strangling the guy and you see the guy's um you see the guy's um you see the guy's skeleton and you see the bones and all the cartilage and stuff breaking all the cartilage and stuff um breaking and um of course returning from MK versus DC is the fan service you see the 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 clothes rip you see the clothes rip and you see um you see the blood you see the blood, you see the all the blood, all the blood on the characters, on the characters and stuff. Um the moves, the the move the, the, the signature maneuvers from the old Mortal Kombat games look way more look way more realistic here in this game than they did in previous games. So making the the um moves like teleporting, like um teleporting and stuff, making it look more uh, realistic, making it look more realistic here, making the signature moves look more realistic, and, um, and, of course, another cool combo technique is, um, when you hold several, when you get your, um, power meter up at the bottom and hold several, and hold, hold several buttons, you can unleash a super version, a super version of one of your attacks, which is, of course, borrowed from, the Street Fighter games and the um the um, SNK video games of the 90s like King of Fighters and games like that King of Fighters and games like that hitting a super hitting a super move so they took something from Street Fighter and the SNK games uh, 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 of the of the past adding a super com adding a super combo like move um next um. I loved um, the new character designs of Liu Kang, Kung Lao, Sub Zero, Scorpion, Scorpion. I love the human forms of Cyrax and Sector, Cyrax and Sector, and of course um, the new designs of Noob Saibot, Noob Saibot, um, Striker. I love what he did with Striker, Striker, um, Cabal, Cabal, um. Cabal and um Raiden's new design is awesome, but I thought he looked better in Mortal Kombat vs. DC and um Sonya is also the same Sonya is also the same except um here she doesn't wear a white shirt. She doesn't wear a white shirt and um Kano Kano um I like the first costume he has which is very similar to his Mortal Kombat one movie appearance. Trevor, the late Trevor Goddard's, Trevor Goddard's, um, movie appearance in, uh, Mortal Kombat 1. Don't like his, um, second costume, which, of course, is his Mortal Kombat 3, uh, costume. I'll talk about that in my criticisms of the games. So, I like, like the, um, the new, um, character designs. I like how Baraka is back to his old, has a look that resembles his old look. His old Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat 2 appearance, um, Mortal Kombat, um, 2 appearance, um, Mortal Kombat 2 appearance, um, so, um, and I love Smoke's, oh, I love the new design of Smoke, I love the new design of Smoke, especially his second, especially his, his, um, his second design that appears later in the story and is actually already available when you play the game. Already available when you play the game. His second design, which consists of him with 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 um gray hair, who and he reminds me of Kakashi from Naruto. Naruto. So um. So yeah, like I like I like the um new um new um designs, new designs um. 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 New, new, new designs. I like um Johnny Cage's design. He's his new design is very similar to his Mortal Kombat 2 and Mortal Kombat 4.
spirits. And um and um and and so um like I said um yes yeah, so like I like I just like I just like the um graphics and stuff. Next is the story mode. Now while I have problems with the story, the actual backstory itself, the story mode is awesome. The story mode allows you to play as Johnny Cage allows you to play as pretty much all the Mortal Kombat characters, J starting with Johnny Cage, then Sonya, then um Scorpion, then Scorpion, 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 then Cyrax, then Cyrax, and then Liu Kang, then the Mortal Kombat 2 part of the story, Jax. The Mortal Kombat 2 part of the story, Jax, um, 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 Kitana, Kitana, Jade, Jade, Kitana, Jade, 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 um, Kung Lao, Kung Lao, the new Sub-Zero, Smoke, Smoke, and back to Liu Kang again. Then we get to Mortal Kombat 3, starting with Striker, starting with Striker, then Cabal, then Cabal, then Night Wolf, then Night Wolf, and then finally, um, the game ends. The game ends with um, the game ends with um, oh yeah, then you get to play as the Cyber Sub Zero. Then the game ends with you playing as um, with you playing as um. Raiden. So pretty much they, the, you, they, I love how they came up with a story mode where all the characters interact with each other and how you get to play as pretty much, pretty much almost all of the characters, um, almost all of the characters in the game with the exception of the bad guys. And the whole story mode, just like Marvel vs. DC, the whole story mode feels like one, since it's split up into chapters, the whole story mode feels, when you put it together, it feels like one giant movie and one giant I should say with this I would say a comic book but a giant graphic novel because of the violence because of the extreme violence but like I said um like I said um um awesome um story story mode so um like I said this is everything I liked about Mortal Kombat 2011 now let's get to some of the stuff I didn't like first of all Number one, um, number one, I'm gonna start off with, um, like I said, the, um, the lack of missing stuff. The first problem I have with this game is Johnny Cage. First of all, one of his moves, which of course is the, um, Shadow Upper Cup, is missing. I think I have to unlock that move, and I hate the fact, okay, I can understand characters being DLC characters being DLC but in my opinion moves moves especially should not be DLC man should not be um DLC they should be already available with the characters the signature maneuvers unless it's some kind of um journey role playing game where you're going to learn new moves throughout the story mode or something like that but moves should be available at the start of the game Johnny Cage's shadow uppercut is missing shadow uppercut uppercut is missing next problem I have is um the big beginning uh, he doesn't have his Mortal Kombat 1 costume he has his Mortal Kombat 2 2 4 trilogy costumes he doesn't have his Mortal Kombat 1 costume which of course I love the uh, blood sport John Claude Van Damme's blood sport um costume with the with the trunks with the trunks with the trunks and the shoes he doesn't have that he doesn't have that um costume he doesn't have that costume um, in this game. Next, I mentioned how I was disappointed how Sub-Zero, the unmasked Sub-Zero without the mask, he doesn't have that costume. He doesn't have that costume in the game. This, the, the, cy the cyborg characters, Cyrax, Cyrax, and Sector. Cyrax and Sector. I do not like their new designs. I do not like them. And yeah, Cyber Sub-Zero. I do not like their new designs. I wish um I wanted the Mortal Kombat I wanted their Mortal Kombat 3 designs with of course um the pal the palette swap the green orange and, or for sub zero blue upper body 
upper body, and of course, the lower body, bl the, the legs and the boots and stuff on black, and of course, black, black. And I don't like how Cyrax is pretty much all yellow with with, 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 with a little bit of black. Sector is all red with a um, little bit of black, and the worst, in my opinion, the worst design is, is um, um, Sub Zero Cyborg um, design, Sub Zero Cyborg design with the blue with, with some shades of gray or silver. I don't like that. I don't like that. Next, I don't like the actual storyline of Sub Zero being turned into a cyber. Um, I like what it meant for the story, but I don't like the storyline, especially since oh, I, I watched the story more for the next game. Next game, and he gets his. He gets his original form back. He gets his original form back. I didn't like the story. I didn't like the um, storyline of him being a uh, cyber. I didn't like that. Um, I didn't like that. I didn't like that. Even though it did lead to an awesome dramatic moment with him and Cabal in the city, I thought that was um, that was cool. But um, I didn't like the alternate story of um, him getting a what's his name. I hated the lack of. Um, Motaro's, who was big in Mortal Kombat 3, I hated the lack of his involvement. His involve his involvement in this film was actually funny. You see him wailing on Johnny Cage, and Raiden immediately teleports over there and does his signature dive, signature air tackle, and tackles and kills him, and kills him, and he's dead. But instead, I got to deal with Kentaro, whom I've never liked, whom I've always hated. Kentaro, he's just so irrelevant to the story. He's just so irrelevant. He's just so irrelevant to the story. He appeared in Mortal Kombat 2 and never appeared again until the um, last game, Armageddon. Um. Next is speaking of not liking character designs, I didn't like Reptile's design. I didn't like Reptile's design. I liked his design in the. Um, I like. I I would have preferred for him first off since this is an alternate retelling of the first three games. I wanted his human pilot. Ninja pilot swat, pilot swipe, um form, pilot swipe form, pilot swap, pilot pilot swap form, form, or if you have to have him as his D form form the, the, the 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 form he has in Mortal Kombat 4 and the form he has in the um, the sixth generation Mortal Kombat games, Deadly Alliance, Deception, and Armageddon. I would prefer those designs. I didn't like the new design he had in. He's not really that relevant. In this, he's not really that relevant to the story in this game. He's just a pushover um character in this story mode. Um. Next is um next problem I had was the um the power levels. The power levels. Now while I while I hate Kentaro, you're trying to tell me Striker. I know I understand Striker is one of the strongest people in Mortal Kombat. But you're trying to tell me Striker with ease can beat Kentaro can beat Kentaro and he can beat Ermac too. He can beat Ermac too. He can beat Ermac too, but none of them none of them none of them could beat Sindel. Sindel can beat all of them with ease. Sindel can beat all of them with ease and um Sindel can beat all of them with ease um um Sindel, like I said, Sindel can beat um Sindel can beat all of them with um Sindel can beat all of them with ease. Um Johnny Cage can beat Sonya. Johnny Cage can beat Sonya, but he can't beat um Johnny Cage can beat Sonya, but Sonya can beat Sub Zero. I think Raiden probably threw the fight. Yeah, he threw the fight, but Sonya can beat classic Sub Zero. Classic Sub Zero, and um, Sonya can defeat Kitana and Jade a two on in a two in a two on one match, but Kitana Kitana and Jade Kitana and Jade can beat um not only Johnny Cage but Smoke in a match, but Smoke in a match, but Smoke in a match, and Jade she beat Smoke in a match. So like I said um. Like I said, um, the the uh, power levels, the uh, power levels, um, the uh, power levels, they were to come at nine.
the power levels and um the power levels in Mortal Kombat 9 don't make sense. So yeah, and Smoke can also beat Shang Tsung. So um he can also beat Shang Tsung. Not only beat him, but also beat him with Sub Zero's, the Elder Sub Zero's power. So um so um um that so like I said holes in the story. How is Raiden uh, in how are Raiden and Shang Tsung how are Raiden and Shao Kahn fighting at the top of the tower in the intro in the intro win in the last game Armageddon didn't Shinnok um kill Raiden and didn't and didn't Unaga come out of nowhere and kidnap um Shao Kahn come out of nowhere and, and kidnap Shao Kahn and the tower ended with Liu Kang the tower um ended with Liu Kang and um Shang Tsung fighting and then the rest of the characters came up and then it ended with Blaze coming out of the thing with Blaze coming out of the thing and I in the conquest mode this the conquest mode in um Armageddon had the new character Taven defeating Blaze, but Taven is not mentioned in this game. Instead, this game is about Raiden right before Shao Kahn kills him. Right before Shao Kahn kills him and brings Armageddon, sending a um, vision to his past self and causing the events of the Mortal Kombat storyline to start over, to start over. And the whole game features Raiden trying to prevent, um, trying to, pre trying to um, prevent um, Armageddon, trying to prevent Armageddon and prevent his visions from coming true. So, like I said, holes in the story. Then um, another hole in the story was... Um, so yeah, I'll talk more about that. I'm also going to do a rant on this actual story mode on this game, and of course the next game, Mortal Kombat X. But this was like I said, it's just holes in the story, holes in the story, and of course the the, the ending of the story, which feature. Okay, the ending of the story. I'm going to say this. I like and hate it. I like the actual story part of what goes on. But I don't like the actual, um, I like the storytelling, but I don't like the actual story. I didn't like how they brought back all the characters that just kill off everyone with the exception of Jax and Sonya. But that does lead to something great in the uh, next game. And it, and one thing I can say about it, it keeps me wanting more. I already can't wait for Mortal Kombat um, 11, despite not even having Mortal Kombat 10 yet because of the awesome stories of this game and the um this game and the um next game um and another fe another awesome feature here is like I said this game has lots of unlockable content something the last one Mortal Kombat vs DC didn't have and another thing speaking of other stuff they added other stuff you have various mini games with like test your mic test your site and that I've seen that I saw and haven't tried yet then of course you got my um you got a um I think a challenge mode a challenge mode then of course you got my favorite most the standard um single player ladder and now in this game they added the tag team ladder whereas in the Mortal Kombat vs DC game apart from the actual ladder mode the actual ladder mode and of course the story mode the single player ladder and story mode there really wasn't much to do in Mortal Kombat vs DC except practice or oh, there's also a combat challenge mode which I don't care about so. That was what that was another proof that adding more adding more adding more content in this game. Adding more content in this game. Um so um So like I said, this right here was my salute of uh, Mortal Kombat 9. I'm gonna do a, a narration review later. I'm also gonna do a rant on the story mode, criticizing the story. Because I do have like I said, I like the story, but I do have problems with it. I'm also gonna do my thoughts on the uh, I'm gonna do a second video giving my thoughts on the new Mortal Kombat X game after not only seeing the trailers but seeing the gameplay and seeing the story, seeing the story mode, and I'm gonna do a rant on their story modes. Like I said, I like the story, but I also have problems with that um story mode. I'm also gonna do a Mortal Kombat versus DC versus this um game. So like I said, um, this right here was my salute of um Mortal Kombat um Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat um, 9 or 2011. Alright, dug out.